Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff member or volunteer will be sharing an object from the permanent collection and posing questions for discussion. Please check back at 10 a.m. every day for a new work and a new conversation. My name is Amy Dehan, and I am Curator of Decorative Arts and Design at the Art Museum. Today, I would like to share a stoneware jug that I acquired for the museum six years ago. And if you visit the museum today, you will find it on display in our Cincinnati wing. We refer to this jug as the balloon ascent jug, although we do not know exactly who made it or if he or she even intended to give it a formal title. The jug was made in the United States about 1835 to 1855. It is made of clay and was formed on a potter's wheel. Wares of this type were often left undecorated as most were everyday utilitarian objects. Occasionally, some were embellished, stamped, incised, or painted with cobalt blue slip. While fired at extremely high temperatures, Salt was thrown into the kiln. The salt reacted with the clay to form a non-porous vitreous glaze. Hence, this type of ceramic is called salt-glazed stoneware. Most salt-glazed stoneware vessels were used for food preparation and storage, but occasionally potters made very special examples like this one. Using cobalt blue slip and a brush, the artist has depicted a single figure in the basket of a hot air balloon. The clouds surrounding the balloon take the form of the number three, a creative way to indicate that this jug could hold three gallons of liquid. It is probable that the decoration on this jug was inspired by the historic record-breaking balloon ascent of Richard Clayton in Cincinnati. Clayton was born in England in 1807. He first appeared in Cincinnati in 1834, listing in the city directory as a clock and watchmaker. Prior to his arrival, he had developed a passion for hot air ballooning. In fact, his Cincinnati shop was often referred to as Clayton's Balloon Store, as in addition to conducting his watch and jewelry and fancy good business, he made balloons. These silver teaspoons from our collection were marked and sold by Clayton at his shop. Clayton's first and most famous voyage in his Star of the West balloon occurred on April 8, 1835. Clayton launched his balloon from an amphitheater on Court Street between Race and Elm Streets and ended in Monroe County, Virginia, now known as Clayton, West Virginia. Along the way, once he had reached an altitude of a mile, he dropped a dog in a basket, which landed safely by way of parachute. Traveling 350 miles in nine and a half hours, Clayton's voyage set a world distance record for hot air ballooning. News of his record-breaking journey was published in newspapers across the United States and around the world. This bandbox from the era celebrates Clayton's feat. The wallpaper covering this box clearly reads, Clayton's Ascent. What type of outdoor activities have you been enjoying during these warm summer months? Whether they've been record-breaking or just a fun escape, I hope you've enjoyed every moment.